Get ready for the Cindy Davis Show. Welcome to the show. I am introducing the show today wearing a hoodie in honor of Trevon Martin. Now, we have a very entertaining show lined up for you today. Throughout the show, we will be featuring some of Houston's own teen talent. But first, I want to send out my heartfelt sympathy to the family of Trevon Martin, a beloved Florida teen that was gunned down in cold blood by a white volunteer neighborhood watchman. My heart bleeds for the Martin family. Although the shooter showed no love for Trevon, God is still on the throne, and he loves you for you. Here is Houston's own 15-year-old Madeline Rodriguez to sing her karaoke solo. He's in the corner when nobody sees. He's a kid with the story no one would believe. He prays every night, dear God, won't you please, could you send someone here who will love me? Who will love me for me? Not for what I have done or what I will become. Who will love me for me? Cause nobody has shown me what love, what love really means. What love really means. Her office is shrinking a little each day. She's the woman whose husband hasn't run away. She'll go to the gym after working today. Maybe if she was thinner, then he would have stayed. And she says, who loved me for me? Not for what I have done or what I will become. Who will love me for me? Cause nobody has shown me what love, what love really means. What love really means. He's waiting to die as he sits alone. He's a man in a cell who regrets what he's done. He utters a cry from the depths of his soul. Oh Lord, forgive me, I want to go home. And he heard a voice somewhere deep inside. And he says, I know you've murdered and I know you've lied. But I have watched you suffer all of your life. And now that you listen, I'll, I'll tell you that I, I will. Not for what you have done or what you will become. I will love you for you. I will give you the love, the love that you never knew. Love you for you. Not for what you have done or what you will become. I will love you for you. I will give you the love, the love that you never knew. Thank you, Madeline. That was beautiful. Now stay tuned and we'll be right back after this. Up to 40% of businesses never recover after experiencing a major disaster. Make a plan at ready.gov slash business. And welcome back to the show. And joining me is DC Dickinson. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Okay, so you're going to co-host with me today, huh? Yes. All right, all right. 
So what's been going on, DC? Nothing much, nothing much. Just been here and there. Just you know, I just do comedy plays and just try to do what I can. What I can. Uh huh. That's Why it. they call you DC? Well, it's a long story. Make a long story short. I had a teacher who could not say my name, which is Desabian. Oh. So she just broke it down and said DC. Uh -huh. So it stuck with me since then. So that's uh -huh. that's my name. Like, What's your name? I say DC. DC. Desabian. And they like, okay, I, I like this avian. But yeah. I still use DC. Yeah, so yeah. Like, okay, you from Houston? Born and raised. All right. Born and raised all okay. over. I'm from every part of Houston except Pasadena. Uh -huh. I've been all over. Oh, yeah, Pasadena, okay. Oh, I yeah. hear about something about some red carpet. Oh, my What's goodness. That? What yeah, is that? We were at the NAACP Awards, uh -huh. and uh, we were on the red carpet, and it was fabulous. What? Oh, it was absolutely fabulous. You have to tell us who did you see. Oh, I think I said a my couple soul. of pictures. Everybody. Oh, my goodness. Harry Belafonte, Cicely Tyson, all the legends and the greats. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just a, an, an awesome experience. And uh, I was there to escort um, a movie that was nominated. Uh, called Thunder Soul. Okay. So uh, I know yeah, what that's so about. The, yeah, you have Cashmere. You from Cashmere? Oh. Hey, you uh, the uh, Class of ninety. Class of ninety. Uh, hey, that's a high name. Class of ninety. My <laughs> uncle here, my mom, dad. We are. I'm from Hey, you. Uh, uh, yes. And now uh, shout yeah. out. Okay. Yes, okay. You've been married twenty five years. No, nah, it'll be twenty. Oh, oh, twenty. Oh, oh my goodness. Not twenty five yet. It's gonna be twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. 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 Let me say something about uh, Whitney Houston. Oh. It's a shame that she passed. But of now, course, Bobby it? Christina, she's out there. She's yeah. doing her thing. You know, she's grieving her her certain way. Yeah. And they said that um, if the movie come out, if a movie about her mom come out, mm -hmm. she wants to play a, a younger Whitney. Oh, so okay. I think she'd be good in that. Yeah, did you see her? She looked just like, she's, yeah. especially Bobby with the gap and everything. Oh, she looked just like Bobby. Yeah. You know, when she was younger, she looked just like Bobby. She yeah. was beginning to develop and kind of look like her mother. Yeah, now. that's yeah. a good thing. That'd oh, be a, that'd a be good, good choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've been watching TV, so what's what's been on? I am a uh, yeah. reality. Oh uh, no, not fan. a reality fan. I like all mess. Not all you. mess. <laughs> all gossip. All half pulling. Name calling. Teeth biting. Uh, backstabbing. I like mess. Oh my goodness. Basketball wise. Well, you know, that must be what it's for. Is it? For, you know the audience who love mess. I love I, it. You know I, I follow them on Twitter. Uh huh. I be listening to the mess. Hey, what can I say? Yeah. That's a reality show for that you, is. right? Uh huh. Yeah. Kim Kardashian, guess oh. who her new boyfriend? Wait a minute now. Supposed to be. Okay, now go. Been seen out. Uh -huh. Kanye West. Mm, you hear that? Kanye West. I heard a little bit about that, but that's just a rumor. Though. That's I heard a rumor. they were good friends. Yeah. yeah I heard they they've say. been. I heard they've been good friends yeah. for a long time. Yeah. That's like um, your girl um, Rihanna. Uh huh. Spotted with Ashton Kutcher. Uh -huh. Coming out, the, going into the his house, his room. Uh huh. Coming out late in the morning. Uh -huh. Now from twelve to six. Uh -huh. What is going on between twelve and six? Uh, PM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we grown. We grown. <laughs> AM. So yeah, it's it's been it's been Kanye West, and that's what they mm -hmm. say, you know. That's so what they say. Um, Evelyn, back to basketball wise. I like basketball wise. Okay. I like and Evelyn, uh, future Miss Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson's wife, uh, mm -hmm. fiance. She's uh she spent Easter co-hosting a party mm. at a strip club. Oh. G5 strip club. And was, and was reported dropping $2,000 on some strippers, making it rain. Wow. Yeah. So, okay, okay. So is she must be, you think? I don't know. Is she, no, it's, is it's, she, it's, she it's, bio? It's, maybe bio? Maybe she <clears throat> might be a little curious or something, but I would just like to be up in the club just looking and seeing what's going on because <laughs> I seen one of the strippers that was on the pole and, uh -uh. and uh, I just was collecting the money. I'd be collecting yeah. the money. Yeah, be you can just collect the money. Yeah, I'd be collecting the money. Okay, well, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it right there for a while. <laughs> now, when we come back, 15-year-old uh, Daniel Roberts will perform. Stay tuned. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Visit us at stoptextstoprex.org. Welcome back to the show. And now, 15-year-old Danielle Roberts will perform her karaoke rendition, Woman's Work.
make it go away. What talent? Oh, then you can sing. She sang that song. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Only like 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So what you got from the BC? Dancing with the Stars of Matt. Uh -huh. And uh, they got a little bit of, you watch Dancing with the Stars? No, I really, don't But either. you know what? The thing about that got my attention with uh, this uh, season of Dancing with the Stars was uh, Jaleel White. I, I was heard just he say was boohooing. Why was yes. he boohooing? Did you ever I find out why he was boohooing? I didn't find out, but rumors are saying that him and his dance partner is not getting along. Okay. So right. that's coming out. Also came out um, um, his baby mama. She comes out of nowhere now. She mm -hmm. has a pretty little girl. Pretty oh, little really? girl. She comes out. His baby mama comes out mm -hmm. and saying that Jaleel's been hitting on her. You know, they've been oh, out together no more. He used to hit on her stuff. Oh, so right. I mean, now you come out now, the man is on Dance with the Stars, mm -hmm. and everybody know each week you go up, you get paid more money. Right. So now she's coming up saying that you know, she okay. might want some more change. I hate to see a grown man cry. I mean, I'm weak, okay, but I'm, not, but, come on I now. mean, but boo-hooing, boo-hooing like I that. Cry. <laughs> I, I cry. I cry. Well, you cry. Yeah, cry under your pillow. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I don't want to see it. On the City Davis show, DC cry <laughs> on Lifetime shows on Sunday. I'll be sitting on some city like hurting by me, trying to hold it in. But especially when I'm looking at the room being killed and then it's missing. I'll be crying. Oh, no. I'll be trying to hold it in with my wife. You crying? I know. I'm like, oh, my. You sitting there watching me with your wife? I'm like, hold it out. This is boo-hooing. This is tissue being thrown out of the way. But I was in L.A. I used to want to be a dancer. <laughs> I ain't going to say what kind of you dancer. A, yeah, I, oh, I wanted okay. to make it rain, though. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's all you have to do. I you can still do nah, that, though. You can still make it rain. My six-pack is a half-a-pack now. Oh, okay. It's a half-a-pack. <laughs> it's a half-a-pack. 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 It's a half a pack it is 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 a I don't have too many good friends, especially like we're going tell you right now. Yeah. I have no friends like Tyler Perry. I wish uh -huh. Tyler was my friend. You know what he, you know what he gave? Them kind of friends, kind of friends you need. Yes. No. He gave Gail and Oprah last year a Bentley. And they don't need no Bentleys. They got their own Bentleys. Friends like that. <laughs> you, they didn't even ask. He just delivered. That's friends with benefits. Yes, that's good. <laughs> And, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, they, that is Tyler Perry is a good friend. A good, good friend, friend. A good friend. I tell you, three things you never buy at the 99 cent store. What's that? Hmm. Well, a pregnancy test. <laughs> <laughs> Hair dye. Uh -huh. And underwear. I know why not underwear, but you better tell it after the break. <laughs> you better tell why after the break. And welcome back to the show. And uh, DC, we were talking about the three things never to buy at the 99 cent right. store. Okay. Okay. And that was before the break. Right. All right. Now, I said pregnancy test. Uh huh. Hair dye and underwear. And tell us why. Uh, <laughs> no, you tell us why. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, well, the pregnancy test, you know, a 99 cent store pregnancy test, you might end up pregnant. <laughs> I mean, you might end That's up. That's true, you might. From the test. That's just 99 cent. When you do it, what did you gotta do? <laughs> I don't do nothing. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's, you go to the doctor, you pregnant. It. So, yeah, things are outdated. You gotta watch the expiration date. You can't just buy anything from the dollar. No, you store. can't. You can't. And I understand why you wouldn't buy underwear. Because when you, they're on layaway, it's, see, layaway is a means for you to pay on it when you get the money. So, you buy some underwear that's a size three in June. <laughs> in August, when you get them out, yeah. you might be a size 12. <laughs> Fit no more. No, so, you know, so you just, I understand the underwear part. But see, me, I have no problem. I, I've been the same size since I was like 15. 
Oh, oh, my, I mean, you were trying to size at 15. Me and my son wear the same size, y'all. We oh, got to get different name brands. Oh, no. We wear the same clothes. Size. Size. <laughs> size. Yeah. Slim, sexy. Oh, okay. With a belly. With a belly. Yeah. Whatever happened to the, um, that woman that had got her butt inflated with the uh, fix a flat tie and uh, super glue? You didn't hear about that? Girl, I missed that one. <laughs> oh, man. Fix a flat glue? <laughs> Okay, what she happened? went. She went to a quack. Okay, she wanted to get her butt. Did you hear about it last? <laughs> the cameraman so, cracking us, up over there. Tell us about it. I mean, it's not funny, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? But that's why you gotta be happy with what God gave you sometimes. Yes. In those in those cases, okay. But yeah, she uh, went to a uh, a so-called doctor to mm -hmm. get a butt implant. Okay, mm -hmm. and so what he was doing is inflating butts with the uh, fixer flat and. Uh, and uh, super glue mm. and so she got sick we had to go to the hospital and they found out that uh, she had those uh that uh toxic waste in her system Man. and it made it made her sick poor girl Dang. i wonder what happened to that quack because he's just a quack he got oh paid my goodness. he might they might yeah. get him he up there <clears throat> injecting that's i mean women, women are trying to get that that look yeah you for know who, for, for cheap what? for cheap and then I mean, and I, I watch this different, you know, shows about people who do um, plastic surgery, mm -hmm. and that stuff is painful. So some of them, you know, they, and it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So some of them want to go get that stuff for, for a little nothing. I mean, I, I, man, oh, man. For I'm happy for nothing. what I have. Yeah, I got, got to be, yeah. Just get it natural. Sister girls got it. We don't, y'all don't need to do nothing. None fix a flat, fix a top, fix a bottom. None of that kind and of stuff. There's nothing. Just, just <laughs> be at home. Well, you know, summer is approaching. You got any plans? Um, we're going, um, going places. I think I'm, I think my going family, places, we're going to really? go to, we're going to go to, um, we're going to go to, uh, New Orleans doing, mm -hmm. um, the Essence Festival. Oh, yeah. We're not going to the concerts because, I mean, I got, uh, teenage kids, young, they don't want to go see, you know, uh, whoever's there. So we're going to yeah. just partake in the festivities that's around in New Orleans yeah, yeah, okay. for a couple of days. Yeah. So we already we already got everything locked down and stuff. So we're gonna mm -hmm. go there and pick up my son a couple of weeks from college, his second his second year. Mm. I got one graduating. Yeah. In the May. Oh, cool. So one graduated from high school. Oh, okay. You can pop up here soon. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> Some crawfish, you know, this time of year. Yes. Oh, it's just in the air, you know what I'm saying? It's just got crawfish to go. Yeah, yeah, crawfish. I don't crawfish do crawfish, ball. I don't do crawfish. I do them already done. I ain't got time to have a table full of crawfish like this and still be hungry. <laughs> and you got potatoes, and they, they, people say, Well, eat some of the potatoes and corn, <laughs> but you got a whole plate of, of, of crawfish like that, and you got to do all that working, huh? Peel it. Scrape it up, do all that's that. The fine no, oh, that's too long. That is the fine <laughs> oven. I'm telling you. Give me some all of the fried. No, I want the fried. Uh uh, uh uh. You got to be ball, spicy, mm -hmm. not too hot. Me and my daughter went to a crawfish place the other day. That place, I mean, that place was popping. It was on and popping. But I tell you, the I don't like it hot. I don't mm -hmm. like it too hot. Just enough spice, just enough Cajun to get me over where. But it's fun. Mm -mm. It's a fun too thing much to work. do. You just sit there because, you know, you got your, you know, your music playing, you got your good friends and family around, and you just, you know, Taking time and just, you know, mm -mm, oh no, no, no. When you go no. to work, you work. When you got to work, you don't want to work to eat. You want to eat. I ain't got time to be working to eat. I didn't work, work, work eight to five, making money to eat the profit. Right, right, so why right. Work, make the money, and buy some stuff I got to work for to eat. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I go to them and yeah. partake in the festivities with the, the festivities. cold drinks. <laughs> you know, the cold drinks. The cold, the cold drinks. Ice <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> Get the the movies. The movies. You seen any good movies lately? Mm, no, I have not. I, I, have a, I can't remember when I've seen a movie. Well, I haven't seen The Hunger Game, but that movie is racking up some money. Oh, yeah. I heard it was. $300 million. I heard, dollars I heard it was of. based, like, on reality. Reality Yeah, something, something like that. I don't know how something. it goes, but it's looking nice. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I saw a, uh, a commercial yesterday. Um, I was watching TV, and there was a commercial called... Um, uh, the Spring product, Alert. The, no, the product <laughs> was Baby Anti-Monkey Butt. 
<laughs> anti monkey butt. What that do? It's some type, you know, some type of powder that prevents diaper rash. Where the monkey come in at? <laughs> Baby anti monkey butt. Baby anti monkey butt. I had never heard of anything like that in my life. This is just wild. This world is going it is. out. It's, out. It's, just, it's out of control. It really is. Babe, you got me stuck. I'm trying to figure out what it do. I'm trying to, what, where the monkey butt come in at? <laughs> when you think about it while we go to break. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go ahead and take a break and we'll be right back after this. Up to 40% of businesses never recover after experiencing a major disaster. Make a plan at ready.gov slash business. And welcome back to the Cindy Davis Show. I'm still talking with uh, the funny DC Christian Moody. Can you talk about me on stage, huh, baby? I ain't seen the baby. I, and all the stuff I've done, I haven't seen the baby. You have not seen the baby? I have not seen okay. uh, Jet Blue Ivy yet. Jet Blue Ivy? Well, it's not Jet Blue Ivy. Oh, Blue it's... Ivy. I'm sorry. Blue Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Jet Blue Ivy. <is> <laughs> I thought it was Ivy Blue. Be whatever. I, I haven't seen it. What is the name? Is it? I think it's I, Ivy, Ivy Blue. Blue. I think it's Ivy Blue. Okay. I think okay. it's Ivy Blue. Okay. Where they get the blue from? Do you know? I heard that uh, Jay Z was dating someone named Blue Carter, um, Blue Cantrell. Uh huh. Okay. And Long you know, it's all kind of rumors and it's everything. All kind of stuff with them. All kind of rumors about that. Yeah. I just say let people be. They, they say they part of this cult. They over here. People just so much in the me. But I be liking it because it's mess. <laughs> you know, I like it's a mess. But I let people, I don't judge nobody. If you over here, if you mm -hmm. do what you do, you do. I'm a comedian, so I have to act on it. But yeah. in, in reality terms, I just don't bother with you. I mean, you do what you do. You do what you do. Yeah. Did she have the baby? Did she carry the baby? <laughs> <laughs> That's debatable. Is that the... I think she did. Oh, you, you really? Yeah, okay. I think she carried. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me to the baby? Yeah, they said she carried the baby. You know how rumors are. You know, yeah, they're saying that she, she didn't. She carried the baby. She carried it. She carried it and had it. Oh, okay. She carried well, it. You heard it right had. here. DC carried said she carried it. it and had it. Carried it and had it. Jay Z, <laughs> break me off that $50,000 you told me to say on here. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Cash your check. <laughs> you too funny. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for uh, tuning in. And to close this show is 15 year old Raphael Lozano singing his karaoke rendition of Crook Tonight. And we're going to give it up for Raphael Lozano. Yeah. I took a walk around the world to ease my troubled mind. I left my body lying somewhere in the sands of time And I watched the world float to the dark side of the moon And I feel there's nothing I can do Oh yeah I watched the world float to the dark side of the moon and after all, I knew it had to be something to do with you I really don't mind what happens now and then As long as you'll be my friend at the end If I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive, then well, will you be there holding my hand? I'll keep you by my side with my superhuman might Kryptonite, oh yeah. Well, you call me strong, you call me weak, but still your secrets I will keep. And took for granted all the times I never let you down. You stumble in and bumped your head If not for me, then you'd be dead And I picked you up, put you back on solid ground If I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive, then well, will you be there holding my hand? I'll keep you by my side with my superhuman might Kryptonite Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, If I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive, then well, will you be there holding my hand? I'll keep you by my side with my superhuman might, kryptonite. Oh, yeah! If I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive, then well, will you be there holding my hand? I'll keep you by my side with my superhuman might. Kryptonite. Oh, whoa, whoa.